All right, so let's talk about compound interest. Problem number one. How much would you need to invest if you would like to come up with a final amount of 500,000 pesos after 25 years if money is invested at a rate of 3.5% compounded semi-annually? So the first step to do is to write the given. And I suggest you write all the variables indicated in the formula for compound interest. So I have P for principal amount, F for final amount, T for time, R for rate, and M, the number of times the interest is compounded in a year. So let's now fill in these variables. Let's read again the problem. How much would you need to invest? So in this phrase, it's already indicating how much would be your principal amount. So on my given, I'm going to place a question mark, meaning this is already what is being asked. Next statement, if you would like to come up with a final amount of 500,000 pesos. So final amount of 500,000, meaning this is your F variable. So this is 500,000. That's 5 with 5 zeros. Next statement, after 25 years. So this is time 25 years. If money is invested at a rate of 3.5%, so the rate is 3.5%, convert this in decimal number, this will be 0 0.035. So we simply move the decimal place twice to the left. Compounded semi-annually, meaning your interest is compounded twice a year, so that would be 2. So we are now complete with our given. Step 2 is to write the formula. So writing the formula, this is how it should look like. Your F final amount is equal to P principal is equal to 1 plus the quotient of the rate and M. Close parenthesis raised to your exponent, the product of time and M. However, you notice that the unknown is actually principal amount. So that in our formula, we need to derive the value for principal amount. Let me show that in a moment. So this is our compound interest formula. Now I would like to have a p-value on this right side of the equation. So I'm going to need to remove the remaining value by simply dividing all or dividing the, both sides of the equation by the coefficient of p variable. So this is open parenthesis 1 plus the quotient of r and m close parenthesis raised to the exponent t m and m or the product of t and m. I also do this on the right side or on the left side of the equation so it will be balanced so I have 1 plus r divided by m close parenthesis raised to this exponent t m so that working on the right side of this equation notice that this one divided by this statement is equal to 1. So on my right side of the equation, I am only left with the variable p. And on my left side of the equation, I can actually bring this denominator up, but I need to indicate a negative sign on the exponent so that this is equal to f, and then my denominator would go up to the numerator. I have 1 plus r divided by m, but my exponent will become negative. So this is now the new formula that I'll be utilizing in looking for the value of the principal amount. So let's go back to the problem so that my new formula would now be p is equal to f multiplied to 1 plus the quotient of r and m, close parenthesis, raised to the negative exponent, product of t and m. In my solution, p is now equal to, working on with the spreadsheet, I now make use of my solution. This now equals, the f value is located in this cell, so let me click this. That's located on column D, row 6, 
and then this is a product so I need to press asterisk and then an open parenthesis followed by 1 plus the quotient of R and M so R value is located here that would be D8 divided by M value is located here so let me click that that would be D9 followed by a close parenthesis and then this is an exponent so I need to press my exponent symbol then I'll place this in a grouping symbol so an open parenthesis and then a negative that's minus my T value is located here so this is D7 multiplied to my M value is located here this is again D9 then followed by a close parenthesis so this is how your solution in a spreadsheet should should look like so this is F value R value M value T value and M value so when I press enter the principal amount is 210,014.42 this is the value that you need to invest if you would like to come up with 500,000 pesos after 25 years if your money is invested at a rate of 3.5 percent compounded semi-annually now my question is how do I check my answer just to make sure that my answer is correct I'll be using the manual computation method so this is how it should look like my formula is this one and when I substitute the values my F value is half million or 500,000 500, then 1 plus my R value is 0 0.035 M is 2 and then my T value and exponent is negative 25 multiplied to my M so when I do this on my calculator let me show that up that's 500,000 and then multiplied to an open parenthesis this is 1 plus the quotient of 0 0.035 over 2 so I need a fraction form here my numerator is 0 0.035 my denominator is 2 and then a close parenthesis on this side and then this is an exponent so I need my exponent symbol or my power symbol then I'll place this in a grouping so this would be open parenthesis that's a minus 25 multiplied to 2 and then a close parenthesis so just to recheck my input this is how it should look like 500,000 multiplied to this parenthesis and then raised to the power of negative 25 multiplied to 2 so when I hit enter my value is 210,014.42 rounded off to two decimal place this is the same value we have computed on our spreadsheet so this is problem number one we now proceed to problem number two how much would be your final amount if you invested 20,000 for five years at a rate of 3.5 percent compounded monthly so again the first step is to write the given list all the variables found in the formula for compound interest so I have P for principal F for final amount T for time R for rate and M for the number of times the interest is compounded in a year so let's go back to our statement how much would be your final amount this phrase is already asking for your final amount so we'll place a question mark on our F variable if you invested 20,000 meaning this is now your principal amount so this would be 20,000 and then for five years that's our time five years expressed already in years we don't have a problem with that at a rate of 3.75 percent the rate now should be converted to decimal number so this will become 0 0.0375 so we move 
the decimal place two places to the left. And finally, compounded monthly, meaning 12 times a year. So this is the first step. We have written the given correctly. Second step is to write the formula. This is your formula. F is equal to P multiplied to the parenthesis 1 plus the quotient of R and M raised to the exponent, the product of T and M. So notice that F is already the unknown and this is exactly the formula we need and we don't need to derive any formula. So let's do it on our spreadsheet. F is equal now to our solution. We always start with equals. And then the p-value is located here. Multiplied to, open parenthesis, 1 plus the quotient of r and m. r is located here. d7 divided by m is located here. d9. Then followed by close parenthesis. Exponent, so this is the symbol for exponent, and then the product of T and M, we need to place it in a grouping symbol. So this is open parenthesis, T value is located here, and M value, that's times M, is located here, close parenthesis. Before hitting enter, we check your values if, it, if it's correct. So P is located in D5, check. R is located in D8. And this is D7, so this is wrong. Let me delete this. And again, click the location, the correct location of R. So this is now D8 divided by D9. D9M, that's correct. And then exponent, d7 is time, correct. And then multiply it to d9, that's m value, that's correct. So I'm confident that I have placed my formula and my solution correctly. Press enter. And I have a value of 24,117.55. Now, just to make sure that I have made my solution correctly, let me do my manual computation and it should look like this. This is my formula, F is equal to my p-value is 20,000, open parenthesis, 1 plus my r-value is 0 0.0375, my m-value is 12, correct, close parenthesis, my exponent, the product of 5, that's time, and m, that's 12. So let me pull up my calculator and let me input this values. So I have 20,000 multiplied to open parenthesis 1 plus the quotient of R and M. So this is 0 0.0375 divided by 12 followed by a close parenthesis and then this is an exponent. So my exponent key is located here. That's the symbol. Place it in a grouping. So that's 5 times 12 then close parenthesis. So recheck before hitting enter. That's good. And press enter. And I have a value of same amount, 24,117.55. This is now answering the question, how much would be your final amount if you have invested 20,000 for five years at a rate of 3.75% compounded monthly? So this is all about compound interest. Thank you for watching.